Hey, this is Professor Bergstrom with the CNC Quick Guide. And in this video, I just want to share with you an example of a couple of my students who wanted to learn how to use the Haas ST30 SSY and to do some C-axis machining to, uh, to make a camshaft. This is a really great example because it was it was recorded with a webcam that was installed inside the lathe and it was recorded by two of my students who wanted to learn how to use the live tooling and the y-axis programming on our lathe and and they set out to do that really just by looking at the reference material that we had available and uh, and experimenting using safe practices In this first operation, they're, they're just turning down the outside of the workpiece material and then they, uh, they turn down a little bit of, uh, of the front face of the material before the spot where they're going to put that cam on. Next, they change to a, uh, a milling tool mounted on the face of the turret and they're using C-axis moves here to do milling operations using that end mill. Unfortunately, from the angle of the camera, you can't really see much, uh, but as it comes in here, now you should be able to start seeing the cam lobes. In, in this operation, they're going in with a deep grooving tool and they're removing material from behind the area where they just milled down the, the lobes on that cam. And the reason to do it in this order is uh, so that they won't have as much deflection of the workpiece. They're able to, uh, to reduce the deflection by having more material. Then they come in with a, uh, a milling tool mounted on the outside edge of the, the tool turret. And so this milling tool is able to, uh, to machine on the radius of the part instead of on the face of the part. Uh, and this is uh, cleaning up material behind the, uh, the cam lobes where the deep grooving tool just went in. In the final operation you're going to see coming up, they're going to uh, take a turning tool out. They're going to turn down a little bit more of that shaft behind the cam lobe that they made. And then they're going to, uh, to do a cutoff operation. For more videos like this one, or to learn how to be a better operator, programmer, or owner of CNC machine tools, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the follow button.